Hello yogis and welcome to day five of the five day yoga challenge. We are going to start today's class in a Tadasana mountain pose where your feet are hip width apart, your palms are open in a form of surrender. Root down through the inner and outer arches of your feet and feel this lift of the very center of the sole of your feet, almost like a suction cup. You'll feel your inner thighs and your muscles begin to engage around your knees. Take a breath in, grow the crown of your head up. And then as you exhale, soften. And I want you as I am to feel this gentle sway back and forth. Notice that as you sway, your balance is tested. That you can hold yourself upright to be flexible, but still stand strong. Now reach your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. Take a deep breath in, feel the rise of your left hand, the rise of your right hand, and as you exhale, you sink back home to yourself. This is your moment to enter your body. And then we bring our hands to prayer at heart center, palms together, thumbs pressing against your sternum. Interlace your fingers, leaving your pointer finger up, reach both hands up and inhale, and as you exhale, lean to the right. Inhale through center and exhale, lean to the left, stretching out your side bodies. Inhale through center and then exhale, bend your elbows, interlacing your fingers as a cup on the back of your head. Inhale back, bend into this basket and exhale forward, fold, hinge yourself forward. At the end of your fold, fold your elbows into yourself, keeping this gentle pressure of your thumbs on that ridge at the back of your skull. Release your hands and ragdoll your body down. Inhale, feeling the back of your legs halfway lift and exhale, fold, feeling the back of your legs down. Inhale up again and exhale, fold. And one more time, we're going to inhale, tracing our legs, feel the warmth of your hands and exhale, we fold. Grabbing the backs of your calves and maybe pull gentle pressure down to fold deeper into the stretch. And then release the palms of your hands to the mat and step back into a downward dog. Release your left heel back and up, three-legged dog. Inhale, exhale, crunch your knee towards your nose. Inhale, back and up. And exhale, step through your hands. Drop to your right knee and tuck your right toes. Inhale, your hands up. Interlace your thumbs and act as if you're pulling your hands apart, your fingers are reaching. Inhale and exhale, lean to the left. Inhale up through center. Exhale and then take an inhale back bend. Exhale into half splits as we begin to straighten out that front leg, our nose comes down to our knee. Crawl yourself forward, pick up your back knee, step back high plank. Take a breath in and then exhale your knees, your chest, your chin down. Wiggle your hips down to the mat and tuck your toes and then inhale up cobra pose. Chin parallel to the ground, heart bursting forward. Exhale, lower down, feeling every inch of your belly come in contact with the mat. Tuck your toes under and retreat back into an active child's pose. Your toes, your knees, your third eye and your fingertips are the only things touching the mat. Take a breath in and engage your core to roll yourself up kneeling. Your hands go high over your head. Take a deep inhale. And then as you exhale, I want you to dive yourself forward into your mat, into a cobra pose. Exhale, lower. Tuck your toes under, press back through an active child's pose to a downward facing dog. Root down through your left foot. Inhale your right heel back and up three-legged dog. Exhale, step your foot forward through your hands. Inhale, step your left foot up and halfway lift. All in one motion, exhale, fold. Tracing our fingertips maybe along the outer edges of our body until we're standing, our hands reach high. Inhale and exhale, we fold back down, release. Inhale to a halfway lift and exhale, fold, stepping your left foot back into a low lunge, dropping your left knee and inhaling your hands tall. Interlace your thumbs again, extend your fingers and lean to the right. Inhale back through center, exhale and inhale back bend. Exhale, half splits, your nose folds down toward your knee, your hands are framing your foot and then you walk your hands forward, pick up your back knee, step back, high plank. Take a breath in and exhale your knees, your chest, your chin down. 
Press your toes into the mat to wiggle your hips down. Untuck your toes. Inhale, cobra. Roll yourself up. Take a breath in and exhale. Lower down. Press yourself back again into an active child's pose, bringing awareness to that third eye that is on the ground, your space of intuition. Roll yourself up to a kneeling. Your hands go high. And as you exhale, dive back down into a cobra. Inhale up, your heart bursting through your biceps. Exhale, fold. Press yourself back through an active child's pose to a downward dog. Inhale your left leg up and back. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale your right foot up, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up, gaze up, tracing the outer edges of your body all the way up. Feel good. And exhale, hinge yourself forward. Release your entire upper body to relax into the fold. We are going to start this main flow, which will be a fallen triangle pose, straight into a wild thing, straight into a high crescent lunge. So prepare and embrace the challenge. Inhale and step your left leg back. Immediately step your right leg back and up. Three-legged dog, exhale, crunch your nose towards your knee. Inhale, back and up, three-legged dog. Exhale, fallen triangle, lifting your left arm, stretching out your right leg to the side. We unravel, keeping that knee bent. We drop our foot behind us completely around our body and open to a wild thing. Use your right hand to balance you as you bring that foot to the top of the mat and inhale, high crescent lunge. Hold for a breath and exhale, hinge your body forward. Leaning your torso forward enough to lift your left leg into the air and fly, warrior three. Crunch your left leg into your body and up in front, one-legged Tadasana. Reach down to the sole of your foot and perhaps you can extend this leg long. Grabbing your toe with your right hand, reach your left arm back and wide and twist. And then we hinge forward just as we are so our right hand comes to the ground into a half moon. Take a breath in and exhale, drop your back leg into a warrior two. Hinge your upper body forward, keeping your legs as they are, and exhale, peaceful warrior. And then bring your right hand to your thigh, your left arm to the ground, and then grow your right hand long and up into a twisted low lunge. Release your front leg from the mat into a side plank with your knee bent. Hold here in strength. Bring that foot back, drop your left knee to the mat, inhale, both hands high, low lunge, and exhale, half splits. Inhale, crawl yourself forward, pick up your back knee, low lunge. Step back, high plank, take a breath in and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, your thighs are off the ground. And exhale, press back, downward dog. Moving to one breath, never stopping, but allowing your breath to move you. Pedal out your feet and then walk your feet towards your hands. When you arrive, inhale, halfway lift and exhale, fold. Trace your fingers along your body as you roll yourself up and open. Inhale, take a breath in and exhale, fold back down. Fingers to the ground. To reset, we take one more inhale, halfway lift. And exhale as we fold, we step our right leg back. Our left leg will follow into a three-legged dog. Inhale and exhale, crunch your knee towards your nose, shift your weight forward. Inhale back and up. Exhale, fall in triangle, extending your left leg out to the side, reaching your right arm up. Come back through center, keep your knee bent and reach your toes all the way around you into a wild thing. Open your heart up, gaze towards the mat. Using your left arm to help you balance, bring your back foot all the way around your body to the top of the mat. Keep your right knee lifted and rise up into a high crescent lunge. Hold for one breath. Inhale and exhale, hinging your body forward. Using your left leg strength to press you up into a warrior three. Your hands and your right leg are floating. Exhale your right knee into you and up, one-legged Tadasana. Reach your hands down to grab the sole of your foot and kick your legs straight. You can always grab the back of your calves. Extend your right arm long behind you. Release your leg, extend your left arm forward in a twist, and then hinge your hips so your left fingertips come to the ground. Your right arm is up. You land in a half moon. Soften your left knee, reach your back toes back, land in a warrior two. Reach your arm forward, flip your palm, exhale, peaceful warrior. Exhaling, we bring our left hand to our left knee. Our right arm will swivel all the way down to the mat. Grow your left hand long and up in a twist. Release your top leg from the mat, and we end in a side plank with a bent knee. Maybe your hand can stay reaching. Return your left leg forward, drop your right knee, inhale, Salamba Anjane Asana, and exhale, half splits, we return back home. Walk yourself forward, tuck your back toes, pick up your back knee, press back, high plank, 
Inhale and exhale into a chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Your fingers and your tops of your feet are the only things touching. And exhale, downward dog. Pedal out your feet. Return to your breath and walk your feet towards the top of the mat. When you arrive, inhale, halfway lift, tracing the back of your legs. And exhale, fold, bringing your belly to your thighs. Inhale, softly roll up, one vertebrae at a time opens. And exhale, we sink down into a chair pose with our hands to prayer at heart center. Inhale, your hands tall and up. And exhale, diver's pose. So this requires you to straighten the back of your legs and move with controlled, unlike breath of joy. We come up onto our toes, we lean our body forward, our hands are back behind us. Inhale up, bent knees, and exhale, straighten your legs, head forward on your toes as if you're diving forward. Inhale back and up, and last time, exhale, diver's pose. Inhale back and up. Exhale, hands to prayer at heart center. Lift up your right heel, put it down. Lift up your left heel and bring it down. Now lift up both heels, balancing on your toes, using the strengths of your legs, coming into your power. Grow tall on your toes, balance. Inhale your hands tall. Then as you exhale, drop your heels. Your hands will come to your sides as we started in a Tadasana mountain pose. Bring your palms to your heart, feeling the warmth of your hands. Feel your heartbeat, feel your body, feel your sweat, feel your cells, feel yourself be. Notice your breath as it naturally comes and then slowly sink all the way down into the tiniest ball you can possibly make. Your hands can help you balance, but we retreat back to our home after giving our power. And then we roll ourselves backwards, massaging the muscles along your spine, just roll, releasing any energy and inviting new and playful energy back into our bodies. Roll all the way back. Bring the soles of your feet to the ground, your palms resting by your hips. Root down through the heels of your feet. Inhale your hips tall. Squeeze your glutes. Keep your chin tucked. Bridge pose. And exhale, lower your hips. Feel free to do this variation again. Inhale your hips up. Or you can interlace your fingers beneath you. Roll your shoulders under to get this extra lift of your heart space, of your pelvis of your gut up towards the sky and exhale down and again you can do either of these variations or we are going into a wheel pose so we bend our arms bring the palms of our hands near our ears our fingertips behind us inhale to the top of your head exhale hold and then as you inhale i want you to burst your head through your biceps as you press your body forward and up this full wheel pose, allow your head to relax, hold for as long as you want, and then we come out of this just as we came, first to the tops of our head, and then down softly the rest of our body. Hug your knees into your chest, and rock yourself back and forth, quiet your mind. And then release your legs to the mat, release your arms to the mat in Shavasana. Become aware of your breath, and in doing so, you become aware that your body knows exactly what to do. With a basic trust in ourselves, we can better face the unknown. We have a sense of self that does not fall apart when things go wrong. How can we expand and grow if we cannot make mistakes? And without that expansion, how can we develop a sense of our own power? Whether or not we realize it, our intuition is always there. We live in our power when we live according to this intuition, when we dare to be authentic to our truths. Stay here for as long as you possibly can and feel the power within you. Namaste.